sinking driveway, settling patio, collapsing stoop, uneven pool deck. It's a fact. Concrete problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Wednesday, the 11th of May. I'm James Spann, an upper ridge will likely keep Alabama's weather pretty quiet for a while. Not much rain around here and very warm. Here we go. This is the upper air look, and you can see that high-amplitude omega block pattern in place across the North American continent with the trough back in the western states ridging here and an upper low off the Atlantic coast. And typically when you see that, things don't change quickly, and we're going to stay under the ridge for a while. Temperatures this morning, mostly upper 50s and low 60s. Highs way up in the 80s today. Some spots in West Alabama could touch 90. There's the watch warning map. Pretty quiet to start the day. We have a chance of severe storms later from West Texas and Eastern New Mexico into parts of the upper Midwest. Tomorrow, an enhanced risk over parts of Minnesota, the Dakotas, Iowa, and Nebraska, way up north. Day three, which is Friday, a risk of severe storms. Again, from West Texas up into parts of the western Great Lakes. Here's the rain for the next seven days, and it's just a quiet, dry pattern here. Uh, and understand, from time to time, yes, there could be a few isolated showers. But a big, meaningful rain event, no. Not expecting that through Wednesday morning of next week. So, model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 06C run, valid today at 4. Again, there's the block. We have the trough in the west ridging over the Great Lakes. And the upper low this off the Atlantic coast. And again, today, highs upper 80s to near 90, partly to mostly sunny. Now, early tomorrow morning, a little feature will be coming through. This is the high-res NAM at 5 a.m. And that could squeeze out a few isolated showers. And again, we'll see this from time to time through next week. Uh, that will be early tomorrow morning. Then during the day tomorrow, the day should be dry. The better chance of showers by afternoon over Mississippi. Partly sunny with mid to upper 80s. Friday... Partly sunny, and again, with an easterly flow, we'll probably see low to mid-80s, most of the state dry. This is Saturday, the better chance of any showers over the Tennessee Valley of North Alabama. Uh, partly sunny with mid-80s, and the same thing on Sunday. Could there be a shower? Yes, but most places dry. And that's our theme for next week. This is Monday, Tuesday, and a week from today, Wednesday the 18th, the broad northwest flow aloft, and again, Things look awfully quiet. Let's go out 10 days, Friday of next week, May 20th. A trough to the west, and we're still mostly dry with just a few isolated showers. We've seen evidence there might be a little higher chance of showers toward the end of next week, but that's pretty iffy at this point. This pattern tends to be persistent. Here's the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble between now and the 25th of May. The mean, a little under two inches. Hopefully, we'll get some rain before this month is over. You don't want to go into summer with dry soil conditions. And the National Blend of Models tries to bring some mid-90s in here in about a week. It, this has been running a little too hot, but I do think low 90s is a definite possibility as the ridge persists. And the latest CPC guidance, May 18th through May 24th, we're solidly in the red with the ridge, again, meaning temperatures will likely be above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Cracks in brick, cracks in block. Call Alabama Professional Services. Leaning or bowing basement walls. Call APS. Sticking windows or doors. Call APS. Settling or sinking foundation, that's right, call APS. It's a fact, foundation problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. Call Alabama Professional Services today.